Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here back in Vanilla Hoi 4. So, we're playing as Germany, of course, and we are trying to establish democracy across the entire continent, no matter what the cost. So, right now, last time, we capitulated uh, the miners. Some of these miners, the Soviet Union has taken quite a bit of land around in Austria, which doesn't make sense, but... They might die there, maybe? Unless they gave military access up, they gave military access to the Soviet Union. You know, the Soviet boys want to push. Go ahead. I kind of have player led peace conferences on. Let the Italians die to them. Let let them kill each other, really. Uh, in the end, we will have to go to war with the Soviet Union. But last time, we also made some tank divisions as well. And, before I forget. Before I forget. Someone did ask about tanks. So, um, this is a regular mouse. This is the tank destroyer. Regular mouse, 10 defense, 74 breakthrough. The tank destroyer version of it has 1.8. Eight breakthrough. That's a tiny, tiny amount. Oh my goodness. Way less soft attack. Less than a third. Same speed. A little more piercing. Half the fuel usage, which is pretty good. Same armor. Quite a bit more hard attack. Same hardness. And uh, I might as well show you this as well. So, we're, this is the artillery piece on the super heavy tank on the right. Um, three and a half breakthrough. So about double that of the tank destroyer. Um... 85 soft attack, more than double the regular mouse. Same speed, way less piercing, of course. Half the fuel usage, quite a bit less armor, but that armor is still pretty good compared to like a modern tank. 130, 136 and a half versus 130 or 105 over here. That's not bad. That's really, really not bad at all. Not that much hard attack, of course, so just to let you guys know what's going on with the stats there. So, we're going to continue to try to attack this episode. Um, you guys need a few more tanks. I'm going to wait till these guys are, have full planning bonus, because if I attack infantry, we should do okay. They shouldn't be able to pierce me. Just early, really, right now, a little bit more, I guess, concerned about attacking this part of Europe. I don't mind the Soviets attacking and losing their strength, and, of course, weakening the Italians in the process. I really like that idea. But, uh, Yugoslavia, of course, is back here, so... We'll definitely see what happens, but I do want to let you know, Romania, they're not democratic. They didn't have a civil war at all, so that's really good. Are they still becoming more democratic? Yes, 0 0.03 a day, more and more democratic. They're almost out of manpower, which is, uh, you know, things happen. Oh, Czechoslovakia went to all adults serve. That's not bad. We have some political power that we could use currently. What do I do? What do I do? Division recovery rate might be better to do, I think, for all this. Yeah, I'm going to do division recovery rate. Because everyone can use that. Uh, right now, stockpile. We need more super heavy tanks. We have negative two heavy tanks, which isn't good. Once we have our other super heavy tank division out, I will go ahead and get rid of my heavy tanks because we really don't need them. Um, I really don't like the look of this. No thanks. I don't want to go to war with Asia. I'm okay. Uh, this is disgusting. Why? Soviet Union, please. I really hope the Rome Protocol, Rome Pact of Rome, is able to destroy the Soviet influence here. Because, honestly, the Soviet... At least the cavalry divisions aren't very good. Uh, they shouldn't be able to do extremely well. I mean, they're still Italians. I mean, they're not, like... They're complete pushovers, even though we're pushing them over here. With that in mind... Get to the border. Get to the front. Yeah, I know I shouldn't, like, let my armies go this direction. But, uh, it's kind of necessary. And we have enough divisions around here to help hold the line, too. Uh, so, get to the front line, guys. Please. Please. Uh, get to right there. What are we building? We're building a lot of forts. I really... Oh, good. This part of Germany is built up very well. I made sure we built ourselves up very well. And I'm making a ton of forts in inner Prussia. I want this baby to hold as hard as heck. Um, give me at least one fort there, too. Because they're going to get shelled so hard here. It's not even funny. Uh, good, 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 good. Tanks. I might have waited too long to attack. That's okay. That's okay. France, in the end of yesterday's video, started attacking me where they are at. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. If the Russians go to war, I'm going to probably lose Romania. Because all these divisions... Can they go to war? Can they go to war with Romania? If uh, they have military access? I don't know if that's allowed. They have an aggression pact with Romania still. Uh, let's see what happens. I really hope that the Rome Protocol wins, though. 
at least beats up all this communist influence. Uh, I don't like seeing too much common turn here. Yeah, that's not good. It really looks like I'm going to do this. Do that right there. That'd be good. You guys come down here. Even though that's going to be kill... That'll kill our supply. Do that right there. And then you guys... Is there anywhere else? Not really. Just in case, I'm going to st station you guys like, right there. Let's look at losses. If that's a case... Oh, wait. Oh, holy cow. Holy cow. Wait a second. I forgot they made their own faction. The Novus Imperium Romanum versus the Pact of Rome. I kind of missed that somehow. If that... If that's... Oh, oh. So, you, so that, that means we're really going to focus on taking out France. So. Six divisions here. The Bolivarian Alliance. President Lazaro Cardenas of Mexico's Partido Nacional Revolucionario has announced the formation of a new bloc of nations in the Western Hemisphere. The Bolivarian Alliance takes name from Simon Bolivar. All right, is this a prelude of to yet more fighting to come? I can't speak right now. Weak church. You're not that strong. We have air innovations too. We have Panzerfausts. Oh, I really want Hungary under me because I can make him a puppet. I would really want Hungary as a puppet so we can add them to our alliance. I'm gonna wait to puppet Romania then. Let's get rocketry. Rocket propulsion holds the key to massive innovations in all three of the military branches. You're darn right. You're really darn right. 1942. Uh, plane stuff. Maybe? No? No? Uh, some naval bombers, I suppose. We're not really making tanks anyways. Uh, they are attacking us over here. I guess that's to be expected. It doesn't really matter too much. But how much have the Soviets lost? Because their supply probably isn't very good. Oh, they've lost a lot of guys. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. And... Greece is guaranteed by Romania. We might be able to get them into our faction. That actually wouldn't be a bad thing if we could. That opens up a new front. We could get them in the Central, Pier Central European Alliance. That would be not bad, actually. Come to think of it. So yeah, let the Italians and the remnants of the Hungarians uh, kill each other off. I'm liking that. So, like I said, let us focus over here. I don't know if I can still push through here well enough. I give this order, do that. I'll get that artillery in there too. Um, yeah, let's try that. Come on, guys. We actually have air superiority, but we still can't break these guys. I don't know how we can't break them. Oh, our attack is going up, maybe a little bit. Throw in the infantry from here too. We might be able to take another tile. We have to move nice and slowly. Oh yes, we did it, we did it. Good job, guys, good job. You know what, you can hold. The divisions in the back will line up as well. Good, we have more divisions over here as well. Uh, oh no, I need the I need divisions over here. So give me everyone here first. There you go. That's going to be extremely, extremely important. Just in case things go south. Let's see where every tanks to a few hits. We are out of. Oh, we got a small stockpile. Good. We got better radar. That's going to come in handy. Let's get some decryption next. Uh, you know what? Don't move. Where did Paris... Oh, Paris is no longer... Uh, yeah, Paris is no longer frontline city, and that's okay. Let's see. Where is a good place to attack? Right here. Back right here. Small tactical maneuvers. How much longer till we take, get our next tank? Uh, there's 77% of the way there. September 5th is planned for when we will have our next tank, which is fine. Let's move around, guys. You're doing a great job so far. I do not trust the Soviets as they are... They are actually taking up the Italians. Which really isn't very much of a surprise. Which means... To be fair with these guys, I might have to give some territory to the Comintern. Really, just Yugoslavia. Because I don't want to fight a southern neighbor down here. That means I have to capitulate the French first. Alright, tanks. I know my super heavy tanks are suffering a little bit. Ooh... This might be... Throw my tanks in there. Throw them in there. You might be able to do okay there. Engineer company, good. Next up... Motorized rocket artillery. We get the battalion. I prefer regular, just stationary artillery. Naval Waffas. More anti -tank. I, said, I did say I want to use more anti-air, anti I mean. Well, let's see what happens with that. Let's do that first. No, 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 no. 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 See what happens over here. If we can throw on some art infantry as well, that might help them out a little bit. 
throw in this artillery division. We should be able to push with our tanks. Yes, we might be successful. They still can't pierce us, which is good, good, good. Use the divisions that we currently have. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, guys. Good. Paris is once again a frontline city. They recognize this, and they don't like it. Good. Alright, I'm joined here with my cat, Herr Binky, and he wants my chair. Of course he does. I can take Paris. That'd be great. Go ahead and hold. Oh, the Dutch East Indies has been exiled. We now host them. Their current legitimacy is 82. Alright. Right, Binky, okay? Manstein, do you have anything for us? Fortress Buster, Fort Attack. You know what? Let's do that. I never choose Fortress Buster. We might need that. Heinz, you're doing a great job. A little bit less manpower. Yugoslav is looking kind of large and in charge. If anything, with this peace deal, if this Italy really capitulates, I'll probably give Italy to the Comintern because they probably deserve it. Yugoslavia, but we'll take Austria and Romania and Hungary probably. Yeah, it's a big old neighbor to the south, but whatever. And I'm really just focused on France right now. Um, how strong are these guys? Could these guys? No, I can't. I need to think about this a little bit more strategically. Mm, let them move around. Let them think that they can do okay. Probably the best place is attack right here. I need to spread these guys out a little bit more. Good. Another division. Throw you on there. Just want to be a little bit careful. I have to be careful with whatever we have. But they do have horses, which is okay. Let them stop. Okay. Immediately start an attack this direction. Sending the artillery as well. Alright, so our tanks are in. We do not have air superiority, which is a big bummer. Oh, you guys. Yeah, throw you over here. Now, if they're fighting my tanks... Oh, our organization is really low. Holy cow. Even my tanks couldn't do anything there. That's not good. And my heavy tanks are becoming weaker and weaker, which isn't good as well. Gotta really plan out what we're gonna do here. Oh, but their tanks are really terrible. Holy cow. Yeah. Can't wait for more tanks, please. Just in case, come over here. Um, do that. It doesn't really matter. You're from the front line. Steiner, nothing. That's fine. All right. Yeah, we. I. I don't trust this. Just wait for more tanks. Uh, are we mobilizing anymore? No, we're not. Move you back up to mediums. Five divisions. If I send in this tank with two artillery pieces, followed up with all the artillery, we might have some success. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, our organization just gets hammered to hell. Holy crap. That's not good. That's really not good. So, we need more planes. Carrier fighters and naval bombers, those aren't bad. Throw you guys on here too. Throw you right there. And eh, maybe make some naval bombers. Cool. Uh, our attacks are kind of going on still. They're not going great. I want this tile so badly. But our super heavy tanks just can't beat them for some reason. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, these super heavy tanks, their organization, it's just a little bit too low. Oh, wait. Are you really 20? Yeah. Hmm. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Once we're done making the next division, I'm going to make them 40 combat width. I'm going to make them huge. Oh, the common turns doing pretty darn well, honestly. Uh, they've lost quite a few guys, so that's good. It's really good. Right, good. Um, what am I going to choose? Some naval verfers. Look at those Soviet boys. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, tanks, get the heck out of here. I need this division. 
Because I need to get rid of this tank division. It's not good at all. Alright, some carrier planes. Alright. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Good. Let's go to the front lines. I'll use this last tank division one more time for anything else. Good. Carrier naval bombers. Awesome. And now, start trying to stockpile stuff. Like, keep making more civilian factories. We need them. I'm going to keep building, 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 building. Um, yeah, set you to low. Because right now we have a deficit of 68. It takes so long to produce these. But with two of them attacking at the same time, they can't pierce. They'll never be able to pierce us whatsoever. Which is great. Alright, good. We're going to attack here again. And air superiority for them. Well, we'll see what happens. So, uh, do you guys not have planning? Planning would help, guys. Planning would really help a little bit. Good, we have rocketry. Wunderwaffe. Heisenberg and von Braun are chomping at the bit to explore certain ideas they have for true doomsday weapons. All they need is a little extra resources, we'll say. Good, good, good. Common turn. Keep building up that army. Uh, where is this guy? Are you kidding me? Prince Michael has now instigated a coup. Um. Why? Why you do this to me? Why? R Romania? You're, you're not my Prince Michael. Um, if I do this again, Romania, at least you're democratic. That's good. Not sure why you started a coup there. Um, yeah, these guys, they don't have air superiority, which means I'm going to attack as soon as this battle's done. Let's try it again. Beat the hell out of them. Oh, actually, if you guys help attack here, you might be able to win, actually. Let the tanks go, and then we'll attack from here, attack from here and send in the artillery pieces. You should be able to win here with two super heavy tanks. Give them more guns. More, more gusto. More gusto. Come on, more gusto. Come on. Smash these Frenchmen. And if you can, immediately go down to Reims. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to assume it's Reims. Do not let them take that tile back. Come on. Good. Kill them. Kill every single one of them in there. Sally forth. Good, let them panic. They're actually attacking us in, in return, which is good. Thank God we've got this extra division now. So, screw this. I'm going to try to do a tiny, tiny encirclement. They're not very well prepared here. Organization is bad. They have no air superiority. We are going to keep trucking through here. Now, I could attack Sedan. That's probably not going to end up very well for us. But we'll see what happens. we got to make sure our infantry are okay, though. Yes, keep attacking me, guys. Keep attacking me. Uh, let's see. Yugoslavia is getting pretty large. Kind of scary, not going to lie. But that's okay. We shall meet them at the front. And actually, Italians should be able to hold here. This is a pretty thick, pretty small, I mean, choke point. If they can't win here, then, well, Europe is either going to be democratic or it's just going to be communist. There's no in between. Give them hell, boys. I know they got forts and you're attacking over river, which is a terrible idea. But we can still push through, hopefully. Come on. Push, push, push. Sedan should be ours. Yes, we're attacking over river and to bad terrain. We can pierce the enemies and we're attacking forts. Come on. They're throwing in a ton of divisions. Oh, don't use that. Come on. No, you can't win. Come on. You dinguses. Throw in the artillery, too. I will sacrifice soldiers if I have to. I need Sedan. And we're going to get it, hopefully. Um, yeah, subs sound good to me. I like the, the subos. Come on. I, this is why I make the super heavy tanks. The mouses have won. We've made an encirclement already. The first encirclement of the war for us against the French. That's amazing. Send in the spare heavy tank, which probably isn't going to do very well. Six enemy divisions are going to die. We can still push the front. Good. Good job, guys. Good. Great job. Amazing job. 
now with super heavy tanks, we're going to kick some booty over here. We are going to take Paris. By the end of the episode, we will have Paris. Uh, you guys, you're still struggling. I love it. Let the Soviets struggle. Let them destroy their own manpower or destroy their own equipment and stuff like that. Soviets lost 4 million. Nice. Good job, Italy. Italy's lost 1.6. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, yeah. Keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I love World War II. The Second Weltkrieg. Uh, you know what? I don't want. I shouldn't do this now since I'm not going to have enough tanks in the long run. Ooh, how many SP artilleries do I have? I have 44. I can throw in. Uh, I, I need. A, I need a bigger stockpile first. I need a bigger stockpile of stuff. <sighs> 20 combat width seems to be doing okay for now, but god dang, I need so much chromium. Can do one more. Encryption, awesome. We're doing radar as well, which is good. Let's go ahead and start doing some nuclear reactors. Good, 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 good. You guys are doing okay. Let them come over here. Yes, they're very, very slow tanks. Very slow. 2.6, 2.7 miles an hour. That's okay. If I told them to come here, could they all do that? No. So we're going to have to concentrate our forces. I want to take this tile first, which actually the infantry might be able to do with just this tank division. Maybe. They might be able to... Okay, send my tank in first. Good. Send the tank in. Paris will be a frontline city. I'm going to take Paris. I don't care what happens. There you go. That's what we need. Paris, yeah, you can stock in more infantry in there or whatever, but... Actually, no. Paris is going to be a big old struggle because it's an urban area, and that's always very hard to fight. And very, very hard. Oh, the Soviets took Trieste, but that's okay. Ljubljana... You still have a lot of men. Oh, you're on scraping the barrel. That's good. Good. Kill off those Soviet boys. It's all part of our plan. All right, guys. Oh, you definitely need a little bit more strength. What do we need in the field? I'm just trying to be as careful as humanly possible right now. So we need, of course, more heavy tanks. But that's not bad, actually. All right. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Planning isn't bad. Give them hell, boys. Send the infantry to you and give you guys a little more command power. Because it only takes us nine to do so. Can we take Paris? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, we're attacking over river, which is always a bad idea. But they do not have air superiority, which is good for us. Next up, get in a hundred more tactical bombers. You are doing nothing. And what if I did that? And I had you guys do uh, that. I'm out of fighters. That's never a good idea. That's never a good thing to happen. Come on. Some of the infantry have relegated to stay home. Makes sense, seeing as they took quite a few hits. Advanced radar, that's good. 1942. Uh, Marines, I'm not navally invading anyone anytime soon. One stuff. We, we can research so much so quickly. It's so good, but... Oh, we definitely need to do this. Fighter baiting. Bait them. If I throw these guys back in here, can they do any more damage? Not too much. Our tanks, they're not really taking... They're taking a little bit of damage. And we are attacking a little bit over a river. So that's not necessarily conductive to the war effort. But, you know what? As long as you crush all this infantry that they have, and I can recycle my infantry over time, we should do okay. Yeah. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. We've lost probably 100,000 men. 200,000 men. Mostly against the French. Some Austrian boys. Good. 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 Come on. Don't excite me like this. Don't tease me. Don't tease me. We took it. Beautiful. Now, obviously, France actually has a lot more war support and stability. But we have taken their capital. The Germans have taken France. Beautiful. Next up. Ah, oh, Wunderbaba. Romanian fighter competition. The Romanian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new light fighter. According to our air attaché, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Romanian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Absolutely. Something tells me that they could benefit, we could benefit from them having our stuff. Let us go ahead and do air innovation and air innovations next. Modern wars cannot be won without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to develop the Air Force. Of course we should. Good, good, good. I don't want to attack the Maginot line, Magino line, just because that doesn't seem like a very conductive idea. However, I'm going to keep... Oh, there's a river here, too. I'm going to attack here next. 
I'm going to try to avoid rivers if possible. But good job, guys. You really deserve a pat on the back for that. We need more heavy tanks. We need more, a few more super heavy tanks. Fighters, we need more of that. Super heavy artillery. I love super heavy artillery. And I need more chromium. Good. Good. How's this going? The Soviets are slowly expanding down here, so... But it's costing them quite a bit of manpower, I bet. A lot of resources are going into this. Over 4 million are dead. Good. And their supply is terrible. How can they defeat v Venice? That has a lot of planes? That doesn't seem, makes, make, seem to make a lot of sense. Come on, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Keep it up. I like seeing the red. Oh, don't let them in, Italy. Actually, defending against this river here will probably prove to be very extremely difficult for the Soviets, which I'm glad it will be. Which I'm very glad it will be. You know what? Let's call it an audible. I don't need these divisions on that on this front at the moment. Come over here. Let's bolster our lineup a little bit more. You guys come here. Uh, you guys. You guys are down there just in case. You guys are defending over there. Where are y'all at? Oh, you're right there. Um... Yeah, I'm going to bolster up the western fronts so we can have beefy lines. I want beef, beefy lines. Guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't let the comment turn get in there too quickly. What if I just, like, attacked here? No, the Soviets are probably going to take that territory. Schultz, you did pretty well. So Good job so far. Artillery, good. Throw you under there. Tanks. Can you help attack here? Just you, just you attack. Because these five divisions, they won't be able to do anything. Oh, beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Uh, 1940 subs. We can produce a lot of those if needed. Improved heavy batteries. I could, I'm. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut off the Maginot Line. With all this extra infantry, I'm going to send up to the north. That's what we're going to do. This looks dangerous. Good, good. You guys just defend against the Italians here. I'm not going to waste my manpower. My manpower is precious. Soviet manpower is not precious. Um, would you guys hurry the heck up? Naval Vefas? Nice. It's almost 1943. Let's go ahead and get some more construction. Or, ah, let's get some output first. We are currently building that stuff up. More civilian factories so I can build and trade these away for more chromium. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and build another refinery. Two. Uh, don't build it there. Osmark. Good. Um, next up. I don't want to attack down here. I really don't. Get a little more planning bonus divisions. I really, really need you over here. Lose your organization. Move it. You gotta hightail it over here. Good, 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 good. And if anything, three, two, one. Good enough. I'm probably gonna lose some tiles after doing this. Shift, shift, shift. You guys, hold. The Dominican Republican, or Dominican Republic. Who's actually in that faction? Mexico, okay, and uh, Dominican Republic, and that's pretty much it. Maintenance companies, nice. I'm gonna throw those on my tanks. Actually, that'll come in handy. That'll come in real handiness. Real. Oh, low level less armor, low level less piercing, but more of this is totally worth it. Infantry, you're level level five. Hmm. Hmm. Indonesian exile leader offers service. Gottfried Wittert von Hoog Hoogland. Okay. Exiled governments. Oh. Legitimacy. I can recruit divisions? I forgot about this. I totally didn't ever use this because I never played as a democracy. War propaganda is okay. Let's we can do this. Oh, developed M's oil fields. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, extradition campaign daily. 
I can... Okay. Purge Indonesian Infiltrators. Daily Democracy Support. Huh. Indonesian German Unity Parade. Joint Indonesian German Training Exercises. Interesting. Alright, so you guys are really attacking like crazy. We've reformed the front line for the most part, it looks like, which is great. Let's go ahead and start attacking because I wasn't paying attention too much. I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention. I was more distracted by all that other stuff. Good. Give them a bonus to attack. We're going to slowly cut off the Mag Magino line. Good. And good. And we immediately get attacked on all sides. Good. They can pierce me. Pierce that heavy tank. But they can't pierce these super heavy tanks. These super heavy bad boys. Hold. You don't need to move. Good. If you need to shift the front line, that's totally okay with me. If I can cut off the Maginot line, that'd be great. Because I'm going to destroy everyone in there. And how's this looking? Yugoslavians, Soviets are slowly expanding into here. Italy. Please tell me you got manpower. Go. Go after France. Guys. Guys. Italy. You're already fighting the common term. Pretty much by yourself. That's a little not smart. Now, this is probably not going to go well for us. But then again, we're using super heavy tanks, even over a river. Look at that breakthrough. Almost 1,700. That's so good. Oh, my gosh. Democracy is amazing when you use mouse tanks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Send all but you come this way if we can. Infantry's coming down to help out. Good. Oh my gosh, yes, do this. Do it. Come on. We got torpedoes that I'm not going to use for quite a while. Get some medium batteries. They keep throwing in more divisions in here, but that's okay. Get 52, day, 52 days left of fuel. Still building a few things here and there. Give you guys a little bit more oomph. We have supply issues with our super heavy tanks. Did I throw on logistic companies yet on these guys? No, I need to do that. Throw in two infantry divisions, which probably won't help out actually that much. To be honest with you. Oh, we kicked out. We keep kicking out enemy divisions. We have air innovations. Awesome. We're going to go with a tactical air effort. Victory will be achieved by annihilating the enemy's good ground forces. We must focus on supporting our own armies with tactical strikes against close and deep targets. I love close and deep targets. Come on. Good. I like green. No, that's, red is bad. Red is bad. We might not be able to break across. Oh, 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 Why are you teasing me like this so much? They don't maybe a little bit more infantry? Don't tease me like this. 60? How many losses have we had? 202,000. The French have lost 1.28 million. I've killed almost 400,000 of them. Come on. Oh, we've lost a lot of super heavy tanks. Come on. You can break them. Break them, break them, break them before they get more divisions in here. Oh, we've lost... We've probably lost way too many super heavy tanks. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Let's go ahead and stop. God dang it. Ah, oh, that was so close. So flipping close. Now I've got to wait a long time to get those super heavy tanks back. Probably. Or not. You know, or not. Don't move. Don't move. Go ahead and throw some logistic companies on these bad boys because they need it, as well as maintenance companies on those bad boys. Uh, these guys need this. Supply use goes way down, which is good. Yeah, super heavy, heavy tanks are bad. That's not bad, actually. Uh, our, ooh, chief, of, chief of Air Force. Air experience gain. Uh, do all weather. That'd be good. Oh, wait, what are you... Oh, you're up here too? Yeah, I forgot about you. Flesh out that front line even more. We're so close to capitulating or getting there. Uh... Oh, boy. That might have been a really bad idea. Is any infantry moving in here? I don't see any lines coming in. I do not want to get encircled. All right. Allied divisions, you're going to have to help hold... Fighter baiting, good. Let's do a little bit of low echelon support. And we're instantly getting more and more air XP. Good. Oh my god, come on. Where are these divisions? 
No, you have to get your butts in here right now. You know what? That was a bad idea. You know what? So be it. I can't afford to lose these tanks and stuff. So, these infantry, they aren't looking good. Which is good for us. So, hmm. I don't know. Oh, we need Nancy to be able to do this. Guys, don't you dare attack like that. That's a little crazy. Can I have to move this way, maybe? With some of the infantry? I should be able to. Yeah. Look at those tanks. They're not doing very well. Come on. Push them out. Now we don't have to fight over a river if I can get down here. That's important. If I can push this way, I can help clear the line. Maybe get Nancy faster. Supply is so bad, though. It's so bad. Can these two tank divisions maybe take these guys out? Maybe? They might be able to. If I can do this... Oh, yes. 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 Yes! Yes! Mm. We have cut off the Maginot Line from France. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know why the hell you're just sitting over there. Y'all got to come down here. I cannot afford to get encircled. Uh, you got logistic companies, which is good. Awesome. Just awesome. Good job, tanks. You deserve a pat on the bat for that. Pat on the back. Mill house will be important to get. I definitely want to kill these guys off, though. So, you know what? You guys chose to not do anything. I still can't form a good front line, though. So, we're going to have to use our super heavy tanks and continue pushing. If I can take Nancy and Strasbourg and Mulhaus, that would be great because they would have no supply left. Let the allies defend our lines for now. We're going to keep pushing with these tanks because we don't lose too many tanks at a time, which is good. Come on, take the tile. Good, good, good. Immediately attack this tile next, if we can. Use some infantry. Use some more infantry. We don't have to guard this. Oh, we do have to guard that tile a little bit. Come on, come on. Improve medium batteries, nice. Uh, I definitely want to hold this area, so one, two, three, that'd be good. I need Nancy so I can take even more supply away from them. Hold. Yeah, I really need Nancy, but I don't think I can I will be able to get that. So instead, you guys around here. I need you to form this front line. Good. Do that. And they're actually going to move in there, which is good. You guys are going to have to form the front line against France. Uh, the common turn is definitely slowed down here. Holy cow. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. The Ital Italians want to attack. Liberia joined the Allies. The Allies are doing nothing. Like, what's the point of joining them? They're not doing anything. Amphibious warfare? Pfft, they almost have no manpower. Huh. Good. This is looking good. Do we have divisions guarding the entire border? Yes, we do. And I know I'm taking a while to do this. It's just, I want to be careful. Very, very, very careful. Alright, so we got enough divisions holding the line here. That should be good enough. They shouldn't be able to bust through our lines. Ah, oh, they might bust through there, though. Maintenance companies, too. Good. Get three. Oh, enough. Let's not cause too many more supply issues. Get rid of that. That'll definitely help supply a little bit. Um, oh. I need someone here. Von Bock. Hello. Mm, I could take out the Magno line first and then focus on everything else. Naval air effort, long range escorts. So do that. Our tactical and strategic bombers require longer range escorts to provide protection all the way to the target area and back. <sighs> I'll go if I attack up here. That might be able to work. Mexico. Holy cow. You went to war with the United States? Why? Improved light battery. Very good. Very good. 
Mexico. Mexico. What the hell are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, why? You attack and then you immediately get invaded by them. Is the United States even ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They're definitely ready. Holy cow. All right. I want to finish this up. Where are all of you at? Just get up to the north here where the supply is good and nice. Uh, Super heavy tanks were still out a little bit, which is fine. Um, frankly, you and you guys should be able to kill these guys off. Not too difficult. <gasps> nuclear reactors. Go ahead and start researching nuclear bombs. That'd be great. We need more refineries, too. I know this is going to be a long video, guys. My apologies. I just really want to do this. Oh, yeah. I think it... It's almost time for us to get rid of the Maginot Line. Disperse industry, very nice, very good. Get some Construction 5 going. At this point, tally-ho. Maginot Line, what a waste of time. Ugh. Oh. Heinz, you th you've learned a whole lot. Oh, wait. I should have done... Siege Artillery? <laughs> That should be okay for us. More 4 damage from combat. More 4 damage combat chance. And when you attack in force, you just get a ton of attack. Greatness. We do have to keep an eye on our fuel, though. Good. You guys are doing great. Tanks, go go crazy. Just, like, all come, like, right here or something. You can even send one infantry division this way, and you instantly stop attacking. All right. So be it. Good. So many divisions are trapped in here. The next... Oh, take Mulhouse. That'd be great. Yeah, actually, Mulhouse... Are they dead? Did they just die? Dual purpose secondary batteries? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, snorkels. We'll do snorkels, even though that's pretty useless, honestly. We just killed all those divisions. Oh, this is going to be the end of France. This is going to be the end of France, man. The absolute end of France. Alright, infantry. Move in. Swarm them. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is what I was waiting for this entire episode. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. I can't be... I couldn't be prouder of my tanks. Amazing. I love super heavy tanks, even though they take forever to produce. Alright, next up, I will do a small encirclement right there in the next episode, because this episode has gone on way, way too long, but I hope you enjoyed it, guys. The French are now at almost 2 million casualties. We've done a great job. The Comintern has definitely started pushing very hard into Italy, but uh, I'm going to let them struggle quite a bit more. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I, I really did. We struggled, but we succeeded overall. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will capitulate France in the next episode. And maybe even Italy. Thanks for watching. Have a great democratic day.